Today we are going to be raising a number to a fractional exponent. So let's see what the problems will end up looking like. Start with this one here, an 8 to the 1 third power. And so when we do this, the numerator represents the power. And that's the number that we're going to end up multiplying a series of times, in this case just one time. The denominator represents the number the number of roots. So for instance, in this problem, we could rewrite this, or any fractional exponent, as a radical. So we're looking for three numbers, that's what this number tells us, three numbers that multiply to make eight, and they all have to be the same. But then we're going to raise this to the numerator, whatever the numerator is, in this case to the first power. And so when we do this, always think if the radicand, that's the number underneath the radical sign, if this is a even number, then you're going to end up trying even numbers. If it's an odd number, we'll try odd numbers. So we have three numbers that multiply to make eight. So it's an even number, so let's try something. Let's try two times two times two. See, those are three numbers, they're all the same. See, two times two makes four, times two makes eight. So it does work out. So this part right in here in the parentheses is 2. We're raising that to the first power, and 2 to the first power is just 2. So looking at the next one, same sort of thing. The numerator tells us the power. The denominator tells us the number of roots. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to make 16, and then I'm raising this to the first power. So again, when we do this, if it's an even number, try even numbers. Well, you see how 4 times 4, that makes 16. So that means that the two numbers that multiply to make 16, well, that number is just 4. And that's what we end up with, because 4 to the first power is 4 as well. Well, here's an odd number. First odd number so far, it's 27. So as we do this, we're looking for three numbers that multiply to make 27. And then we're raising that at the first power. So as I said before, if we have an even radicand, we're going to try even numbers. Here we have an odd number, odd radicand. So we're going to try odd numbers. And so when we do this, we try 3 times 3 times 3. Those are all the same number. 3 times 3 makes 9. 9 times 3 makes 27. So that's it. So that means that 3 is the cubic root of 27, which is another way to say that, or the three numbers that multiply to make 27. We're raising that to the first power, so we still get 3 as our answer. Well, the next one's a little different because now we have a different power. Our power this time is something other than 1, but it's still the same type of problem. We have the power on top. That's how many times we're going to multiply our answer. And the denominator represents the number of roots, the number of numbers that multiply to make 81. So as we do this, again, we're thinking of four numbers that multiply to make 81, and then we're going to raise that to the third power. So it's an odd number, 81's odd, so we're going to try odd numbers. So if we try 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that's four numbers, and let's see if they multiply to make 81. Well, two threes make 9, 9 and 9 make 81, so it does end up working. So 3 but now we're raising it to the third power. So now we have to do 3 times 3 times 3. Well, two threes make 9, times one more 3 makes 27. So 27 would be our answer. Well, here's another one, same sort of thing, but this time just different radicand, uh, different, different uh, number of roots and different power as well. So three numbers that multiply to make 8, but then we're raising this to the fifth power. So we go ahead and do some work there. Three numbers that make 8. Well, we saw that earlier over here. That was just 2. So now we have to raise 2 to the 5th power. So maybe off to the side, you know 3 2's make 8. That's what we just solved here. But now we have two more 2's. And so the two 2's make 4. 8 times 4, that makes 32. So there is our answer. Well, here, 64 to the 4 thirds power. Three numbers, not two, but three that make 64. So a lot of people want to say eight. Eight times eight makes 64. Well, that's only two numbers. We need three numbers. So it's an even number, so we're going to continue trying even numbers. So let's try something smaller than eight. 
Two fours make 16 times another four makes 64. So there it is. Four is the answer. But then we have to bring that to the fourth power. Well, we already know three fours make 64. So all we have to do is just multiply one more four. So 64 times by four. Let's see what that is. So we go ahead and do that multiplication. 16, 24, and 1 make 25. So there it is, 256. Well, the next few problems involve just two steps. You've got to figure out two fractional exponents and then either add or subtract them. So 8 to the 2 thirds power, three numbers that multiply to make 8, and then we're raising that to the second power. Even number again, we're going to try even numbers. And we saw that earlier was just 2. But then we got to square that, so we end up with 4. Over here, we're looking for 9 numbers that make 1. And then we're raising that to the first power. Well, those 9 numbers that make 1 would just be 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Yeah, it's not going to change. Even 5 ones, 6 ones, 7 ones, 8 ones, 9 ones, it doesn't matter how many ones I have, it still just equals 1. So it's 1 to the first power, which is just 1. Then you add those two answers together get your final answer of 5. Same sort of thing on this next one. Four numbers that multiply to make 81. And we're bringing that to the first power. Well, we did that already right over here. Four numbers that make 81, we saw that was 3. 3 to the first power is just going to be 3. Minus two numbers that multiply to make 0. Well, two numbers that multiply to make 0 and they have to be the same, that would just be 0 times 0, which would be 0. 0 to the first power is still 0, so 3 would be our answer. Well, one more problem to try, similar to the last two. This time we have bigger numbers, though. So let's go with our rule. Our rule is that if it's an odd number, we're going to try odd numbers. And so we need three numbers. They all have to be the same. They multiply to make 125. Then we're raising that to the first power. Well, let's take a look at some more of our problems here. Let's see. We did three numbers before that make 27, and that was just 3 times 3 times 3. So as you multiply, the numbers get big really fast. So I'm not going to try a real big number here, but I am going to try something bigger than 3, and I know it's odd. So I'm going to try 5, 5, and 5. When I multiply two 5s, I get 25 times another 5 makes 125. So that's it. So 5, and then I bring that to the first power. So I'll put 5 there. And then over here, minus 343. Now that's an odd number too, so I'm not going to try even numbers. I'm going to try odds. Well, first thing, though, is to figure out how many roots we're looking for. We're looking for three roots, three numbers that make 343. So off to the side, I might try 7, 7, and 7. See, two 7s make 49 times by one more 7 makes 343. And so there it is. My number was 7, but I've still got to raise that to the second power. So I don't do 5 minus 7, I do 5 minus 49, because i got to square the 7 first. So when I take that away, I end up with a negative 44. And that would be my answer. So there's some examples of for tonight's homework. Fractional exponents. Numerator is the power. Denominator is the number of roots.